Hello everyone, this is Carnage Panda, back with more Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster, and I'm on the menu stream because I made a few uh, um, equipment changes. Okay, so I put the Light Robe on Iridia because of the upcoming boss battles I'm about to have. Um, I also took the Protect Rig off of her. Uh, this one gives Intellect and Spirit, so I was doing a little research on the um, defense multipliers and magic defense multipliers. And I'm, I'm not sure why they list them under defense and magic defense when they're actually applied to your evasion and magic evasion, just like they are in Final Fantasy 2, and they work exactly the same way. So, um, she's able to evade up to four uh, magic attacks and defend up to three different uh, um, attacks at once. So, I'm, I'm really confused. Like, I thought that they just straight up negated attacks, but I, I was wrong. <clears throat> So, um, what I did was I swapped the Protect Ring over to Edge here, and since that gives him Stamina plus 15, that has some synergy with the Black Cow, which has Stamina plus 3, since uh, your defense is um, dictated by your Stamina divided by 2, you know, that gives him 18 Stamina, so 9 extra defense points, and um, let's see... Uh, defense plus 10. Yeah, th this, will, this will just make him better because with his uh, defense multipliers, he's able to uh, just evade up to six attacks. And since his evasion is at 99%, he's pretty much just going to ignore six attacks uh, altogether. So uh, with, the, with the additional uh, defense from the protector, that's going to make him a really good tank up front. Um, uh, same thing with Kane, you know, he has high agility. That's how your uh, defense uh, multipliers are uh, figured out, is based off of your agility. So, um, what is it? Agility divided by 8? So, that's why uh, he has so many uh, defense multipliers, but uh, Cecil and Kane also get them from their shields. Uh, if you're also equipped with shields, it's your level divided by 16 added into there, so he's able to get a few more defense multipliers off of that. Um, not that it really matters because uh, Kane and Cecil don't have as high of evasion as Edge can get because Edge is able to wear uh, light armor. Um, really good light armor at that. The Black Garb is just like top tier, in my opinion. They're not going to evade as much, so they need more defense. Um, unfortunate. And uh, then I put the uh, Minerva Bustier on Rose here because. That's going to up her strength and her agility, which is going to give her, let's see, um, 11 attack multipliers. That's uh, three more than she would get without the Minerva Beast on. so I'm going to use that setup for these boss battles. And that should help us smite it because, smite them because, uh, let's see. I, I thought this was like some kind of a staff or pole when I first played this game. The Coveter of the Holy Land shall perish. Ah yes, the plague. So he's going to cast a party doom on us, and what we've got to focus on is killing him as fast as possible before the doom counter wears off, because at the, the end of the doom counter, he just died. So I want to hit him as hard as I can, as fast as I can. I believe since he's uh, flying, the Moon Ring Blade will do better. And I will also want to use it. Yeah, he's, he's got the uh, projectile weakness, so. There's no way Kane does that much damage without projectile weakness. So, do I have any Bacchus Ciders? Alright. There we go. Too bad I can't cast uh, Berserk on Cecil right now. Nah, he's already dead. It didn't matter. I wasted that Bacchus of Cider. I didn't even get to see Edge's damage. Tame the Holy Lands. Guy got straight up obliterated. Hmm, so the, the Holy Lance, it'll increase his attack power by a bit, but it'll drop his defense. So... It also casts Holy when used in battle. Um... I'll probably do that uh, just to just to show it, but uh, I, I think they were trying to balance uh, 
Feels like something's missing here. That's weird. Thought there was another boss room. So there's only two. By secret force, we shall protect the ribbons. Ah, uh, yes, the ultimate headgear. So now we've got to fight these guys. I believe they will be weak against uh, fire. <laughs> so let's block a cider again. I think they cast uh, reflect on each. You know what? Since there's two of them, give them some Bahamut for their troubles. Yeah, let's go, Rosa. Yeah, they cast Reflect, so... I chose wisely there. For whatever reason, Bahamut doesn't get reflected when Rydia casts him as a summon, because I guess it just makes her more powerful. Makes it more powerful. Uh, there we go. It hits you with the Berserk. So we cast Reflect, it, it, it tosses it back at Bahamut. Rydia casts Reflect, and, uh... It doesn't. Alright, he should be dead soon. Come on, finish him, Rosa. Damn, he's still alive? Oh, Rosa might... Yeah, um, let me see if I can... Well, he's dead, never mind. Rosa missing out on that delicious XP. Alright, we got two ribbons. Um, I'm actually going to put these on the, the casters because... Oh, this is going to be unfortunate. Uh, let's, let's just remove all. I don't know if it's, if it's a bug or they changed her intellect stat, but she just doesn't have as much intellect as uh, she used to in previous versions. Like, I'm pretty sure she'd be maxed out here. So now I'm torn of... I, I want to put the ribbon or the gold hairpin on her. Hmm. Yeah, because that intellect minus 15 is uh, pretty, pretty brutal. And uh, with this setup, she only has 73 intellect, so... Is there some kind of bug that's happening? If I put the gold hair pin on it, she'll, she'll have 83. I don't, I don't know why she doesn't have as high intellect. I'm pretty sure her and Rosa should be maxed out at this point in the game. Ah, dead Rosa. Okay, Sage's Miter gives us spirit plus 5, so that's going to drop her spirit. But having your healer immune to, like, every status resistance... Oh, extra magic defense, too. Alright. See, I don't know if I want to do that. And if I do, if I give him a ribbon, will that uh, drop his attack multipliers down? Got 11. I mean, is Oh, it's going to put his magic defense way up, though. Yeah, you lose an attack multiplier. Hmm. You know what? I'll stick with the black uh, cow. Um, might want to uh, revive Rosa here. I don't need... How the hell did I end up casting teleport there? That, that wasn't even what I pushed. Whatever game. Well, I meant to teleport out anyway, but <laughs> that, that was weird. I have to cast uh, Kiraja. I don't know how I ended up doing that. I guess I will begrudgingly put a ribbon on her. It's not going to help that much, but... Uh... Oh, it's going to drop her magic defense multipliers, too. Um, so, magic defense multipliers uh, are raised by your agility divided by 32 and your intellect plus your spirit divided by 32. So, your casters are going to have more magic defense multipliers than anybody else. Anyway, I'm going to uh, be going back to Earth because... Apparently there's some uh, treasure that only unlocks after you were able to get into the final dungeon. 
So I'll probably um, just uh, edit this out and, and meet you back there. Okay. All right, I'll meet you uh, back where I, I need to be. Okay, so I'm back, and if you come back here after the uh, Tower of Babel, I, Babel, I, I could have done this at any point, but uh, I think they take you straight to the moon. I, I mean the giant of Babel. Um, you can actually talk to these people. Cecil, please return safely. Edward has been constantly praying for your safety. I never imagined this to happen. The boss sure is a, in a cranky mood when you're not around, Cecil. Please come back safe. Please come back and visit us again, okay? Oh, they came from <laughs> the fate of the land and every little living being rests in your hands. Destiny has chosen you for the final battle. We shall pray for you. Good luck. I sure wish we could join you. Hell, I want to go with you guys. <sighs> you better come back alive or else I'll kill you. you. Must return to the moon and face to your destiny. I have faith in you, and I know Tella would too. I will pray for you on his behalf. Become a truly great paladin. I had faith in you all along. So there is a reason I did want to come over here because this is where the Falcon lands, and I need the Falcon to go back underground. Um, not gonna go there immediately, but um, you can go talk to those guys now. The um, GBA and other versions past the PS1 version. You could actually get them in your party. There's some optional dungeons, but they're not in this version because. They just wanted to do a, a remaster of the original, and you know what? I don't, I don't really care about the optional content in any, any of the games. There's, it's not even canon. It's not connected to the story. It's just stuff that you could do. It's, it's just bonus content for them re-releasing it, basically, which, in my opinion, is just pointless. So I want to come over here to Fabul because there's something I forgot to get before going to the moon. Um, game doesn't actually prompt you to do this, but you could take the frying pan back to Yong's wife. And she'll give you something else in return. And I definitely want this something else. Tell him not to worry about me. He should concentrate on getting better so he can help y'all. Wait, what? Oh shit, did I completely miss it? Fuck! I thought you could bring it back at any time. Okay, this is gonna suck, but she'll give you the kitchen knife, which uh, is a throwing weapon that just does max damage when your edge throws it, but I thought you could come back at any time, but I guess there's just a very limited opportunity. Like, after you smack Yang, Yang in the head with the frying pan, just go right back and get, give it to her. So, um, that sucks. I missed that. Because I'm dumb. Oh, anyway, um, the next thing I want to do is go back down to the Sylph Cave, and I'll probably cut there too, because it's going to be a lot of walking, and nobody wants to, to watch me uh, go through the, the Bog Witches and, and the Toads again. So I'll just cut that out and uh, rejoin you there when we get there, so... Oh yeah, see, the, the Tower of Babel is powered up uh, still. Can't go into it. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna rejoin you when we get down. Okay, I'm back, and um, yeah, Edge got toted, so I just walked around as him, and you know, the ribbon made it very easy. Uh, Rydia could just quack, uh, quake everything, and it was good. All right, found Grimoire. All right, there, uh, we got everything in the Sylvan Cottage now. Um, leave. What do you mean there's two items there? There's never been items there. Lies! Um. Oh yeah, I missed something at the Dwarven Castle and I don't even know what I missed. So, I, I don't understand. But I do want to go back to Coco Smithy anyway. Because I want to pick up some things there. That'll help Edge out since the final boss has no uh, enemy type or, or elemental weakness. So, I'm gonna need these for Edge. Alright. 
mean there's loot here? Ow, ow, ow. I've rekindled the love of Smithy that I lost. A remedy? Hmm. Okay. Found one of them. So yeah, if you come back here, um, now this guy will sell you, um... I mean, Yoichi arrows are pointless, but the Fuma Shark hits. I like a couple of those. Uh, normal shurikens kind of useless, but Fuma shurikens uh, actually really good. I guess the Yoichi arrows if you really cared, but they don't exploit any uh, enemy type. Oh, a Soma drop in the bookshelf. Okay. Oh, maybe that's where the thing in the, the castle is uh, hiding. It's in a bookshelf or something. I'm just too dumb. Too bad developer room's still gone. Yeah, let's land right on the cast. Show it, show it what we mean. That we mean some real business. Okay, I'm back and I just wanted to show you something before I continued on. In this room, it seems like there's just an empty room, but there's a treasure chest in here with a red vein, which is useless. But there's also one of the rarest things you can do in the game here is fight the um, Flan princesses and... Um, they are a 1 in 64 encounter, but the way we can force it is that we can use a siren. Um, you could also... Uh, I stole these back in the, um, Giant of Babel, but I found out that you could also buy them at the Hummingway shop, uh, that they added them in there for whatever reason. For like 3,000 gil, uh, pop, so... I went there to buy some elixirs, uh, just to, uh, shore up my elixir stock, uh, I got like 20 elixirs now, so I should be good for the, uh, rest of the game. I don't know if I even need that many, but about like 30 or so sirens. Um, what these do is that they force the rarest encounter in the room. So, just use one and get the, the flawed princesses to show up. Now, the reason you would want to fight these guys... Um... Is because they drop the uh, pink tail. And it's also a 1 in 64 drop, so I actually did some mathematics. If you were go if you were to do this um, without using the siren, the chances that you are going to get a pink tail are 1 in 81,720. So it's, it's not a very uh, easy drop, but uh, with the Siren, it becomes a more manageable 1 in 1,280. So yeah, they, they changed the music, and um, what they attempt to do is, like, confuse one of your guys or something. Like, Bahamut's the way to go when you want to take these guys out anyway. Like, what I learned about this when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go do this, and surprisingly, the first battle that I fought, I got the pink tail. Uh, I'm not gonna be surprised if I don't get it here, uh, because it's a 1 in 64 uh, drop, so... Yeah, didn't get anything, so... It's also an achievement to uh, lock to that, so I'm not sure I care. If you really want to do that, go go farm sire, go get, buy some sirens. But we will be going this way. Rydia, why? Yeah, because I want to get to a few more pieces of in-game loot and... It's that fairy claw on edge so we can smite this guy. Uh, let me, let me summon Ostra and see if I get anything good out of her. Okay, so we got some, some curing. Um, she does some pretty good curing at that. But the effect of Ostra is like one out of four different effects that, that you can get, so you can either get life, cura, curaga, or protect. I don't find Ostra to be the best uh, summon to pull out. Okay, we got a cottage, and... We didn't know this when we were kids, but uh, one day I was playing it with my friends and I was like, 
you know what, I'm just gonna do this. So I walk this way and there's a hidden passage there. And he's like, holy shit, how'd you know that was there? I did it. I just went there. So yeah, go this way to get the uh, final, final bits of loot. Including Cecil's best sword. Um, what do I want? Mage Basher? Silence arrows. Or mute arrows, as they call them in this version. We'll just conserve your MP, Rydia. Oh, 5,000 wasn't enough. Get him, Edge. Ham. That's so much damage. Oh, and, and and on the way here, Rydia got to level 60. So she got, um... She learned Meteor, and I used all my apples, actually. Uh, I used all my apples and my Soma Drops. I used all the apples on Rydia because she has craptastic HPs. And I used all the Soma Drops on Edge because he was a little behind uh, Cecil on MP growth. I had uh, three three Soma Drops, so I dropped them all on Edge. And I uh, dropped like a Golden Apple and a Silver Apple. So that's like 250 extra HPs I just gave to Rydia. On top of the other apples I gave her. Yeah, I think Flare will take him out. Alright, and this guy is, is just fucked. Alright, didn't matter. Rosa or Kane, we're gonna take him out. Monsters! Oh, a behemoth. Alright, um... Well, that sucks. Can I steal his heart? Oh, shit, I can't cast Berserk on Cecil. Well, I can on Edge. Oh, and since you can cast Holy with the Holy Lance, I'll just show that to you. This is gonna be a ter- This is a terrible idea. Why did I do this? Um, but yeah, his his holy is craptastic because he has very bad spirit, so he's not able to get past this behemoth stacko. Protect, of course. Oh, of course you're gonna take out Rosa. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Why couldn't you counter uh, Edge and take him out? Whew. Um, you know what? Kuraga yourself and then start raising them. How to turn a battle into a disaster by having uh, uh, Kane use a holy and and being an idiot. We're, oh, it's full life in this one, not a rise. So, Joys, I get to cast full life on the entire party. Wasting MP just because I'm dumb. And I keep, I keep not knowing where it is. Damn, a thousand on Cecil. The hardcore hit. Well, at least I was able to, to get through this without party wiping. I'm not scared of his counter attack at this point in the game. Where we're high enough level that it doesn't matter anymore. Alright, and a second protectory. I don't know if I want to give this to Rydia or Rosa. Yeah, I'll give it to Rydia. She's got uh, lower defense than Rosa. And they, they, they'll, they'll have about the same. 
Because I'm, I'm not going to use the Minerva Bustier for the entire game. Alright, use a cottage to rest up since I was an idiot there. Then we go out here and we find this sword, which is Cecil's ultimate weapon. What it is, who knows? Those damned by Zemus shall never bear this sword. And we go right into a battle with Dark Bahamut, who's an asshole. Uh, he's a dragon type, so yeah, he automatically opens with uh, Mega Flare, which looks like Embodied Rosa, which is a, a cool thing to have happen. Oh, fucking protect. Um, one thing, you don't want to cast uh, summons on this guy. Because he will counter with Mega Flare. Um, let me get a uh, Bacchus Decider on Edge. I don't really need him for this battle. Now the thing is, is that he is going to cast Reflect on himself, so I will either have to use Meteor or Quake. Because if I use any summons to attack him, he will counter with Mega Flare, and I don't want that to happen. Um, yes, we could try Tornado. Doesn't work. Now, I can't Dispel Reflect. I, I can't even remember if he used it, but... Oh, okay, it's, it's gone. So he's going to Reflect Flare off of him because he's an asshole like that. Okay, I need you to uh, dispel that before I cast Flare. And I'll probably have her heal on her next turn. Because he'll just start wasting his uh, turns on, on casting uh, Reflect now. Uh, you know what? I, I could just use, uh... Might as well go for Meteor. Show it off. You know what? You're, you're gonna be better damaged than Cecil, so... I'll have Cecil cure you. Oh, wow. That sucked. I thought I'd get at least a thousand off of that. Well, at least I cured her. Flare's pretty deadly in this game. Oh, only 1,060... Oh, do I have the wrong arrows on? Well, he's dead. Doesn't matter. I think I might have the wrong arrows on. Okay, obtained Ragnarok. You're like... Probably like, why, why do we need Ragnarok? We have Excalibur. Well, uh, Ragnarok completely blows this sword out of the water. Um, as a 200 attack is opposed to the 160 of Excalibur. Um, and it also gives Strength, Stamina, and Spirit plus 15. So, uh, Cecil just turns into a beast with this sword. And it also um, does super uh, uncontrolled damage to uh, undead. So, you're, you're going to hit a damage cap on them. Anyway, yeah, best weapon for, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the best setup for Cecil. Um, one more sealed weapon to get, but we'll get that next time, because I'm going to end the episode here, so leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.